Great. Hi there, uh, Scott again from EdgeMath. I uh, wanted to continue talking about uh, more about some um, binary relations today uh, in a bit different, a bit different uh, way to write them than what we saw before. Um, so, so let's take for example, it's the set of two, three, five, seven, eleven, and we say that some of those are related to other ones. So two is related to three, three to two, five to seven, seven to five, and so on. And we can look at whether this is reflexive, symmetric, or transitive. And then in many cases where it's not, give counterexamples. So, so for reflexive, well that, that would mean that we would need to have Two is related to two, three to three, and so on. Um, so it's not reflexive, so it doesn't have those in there. Um, so how about symmetric? We would need to have, for symmetric, we need to have, whenever we have A is related to B, we need B related to A. So like, so for this one, um, we have two, three, and three, two. 5, 7, and 7, 5, 7, 11, and 11, 7. So that's, that's symmetric. Um, how about a transitive? So for it to be transitive, whenever we have A, B, and B, C, we also have A, C. So for this one, we would, whenever we have, so for example, we have 2, 3, and 3, 2. And we need to have so the two is let's see the two is the first one and two is the last one. So we have two, three, three, two. So A, B, B, C. So we need to have A, C, which is two, two, the first and the last one. We need to have that if it were transitive, but we don't have that. So it's not transitive. So we looked at this quick example of a relation on this set and found it's not reflexive, it is symmetric, it's not transitive. So, so of course, it's not an equivalence relation. So, great. Uh, if everything's clear with that, uh, let me know if you have any questions or if there's any other areas uh, I can talk about for you. Uh, uh, and I hope you have a great day.